What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred back again with another Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon news update video. Today is February 21st, 2018 and today is actually the last day to sign up for the Pokemon Ultra Sinnoh Classic. What is the Ultra Sinnoh Classic? It's an online competition for February inside of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon. Sign up and battle with Pokemon from the Sinnoh region in the upcoming Ultra Sinnoh Classic online competition with your copy of either Pokemon Ultra Sun or Pokemon Ultra Moon. The competition goes from Friday, February 23rd until Sunday, February 25th. Trainers will be limited to 15 battles per day. All qualifying participants in the Ultra Sinnoh Classic Online competition will receive 50 battle points. Players must complete at least one battle to qualify. You will need a Pokemon Trainers Club account to compete. After you log in, you will be able to read and accept the regulations on the PGL. You will also need your own copy of Pokemon Ultra Sun or Pokemon Ultra Moon video game in a battle team of eligible Pokemon. Accept the regulations on the Pokemon Global Link by Thursday, February 22nd, which is tomorrow. So you have to do this quick. It's been open for literally over a week now. I'm just making this video so you guys can know if you want to sign up for the Ultra Sinnoh Classic, you have to do it now. I'm going to leave a link to this article in the description below. I'm also going to leave the direct link to the sign up process as well. You need to be signed into the Pokemon Global Link website in order to sign up. So make sure you sign up and then click the link below in the description below to take you directly to the online competition. So you can participate in the Pokemon Ultra Sinnoh Classic. I know it's gonna be epic. I know it's gonna be dope. What Pokemon are you gonna bring into the Ultra Sinnoh Classic? I know a lot of you guys are, you know, y'all want this generation. You guys want the fourth generation remake so badly. The Pokemon company heard you and made an online competition called the Ultra Center Classic. So come on, we got to pull band together and show them that, yeah, we want these remakes so bad and just all pile into this online competition and battle it out and see which Pokemon is gonna be the strong. So let me know what you think, even if you're not gonna battle in Ultra Center Classic, what Pokemon do you think is gonna be the, the meta game of this Ultra Center Classic? I already know a lot of you guys are gonna say God Chomp, you know. I'm taking a God Chomp, so like, let me know what Pokemon you're gonna be taking into this classic. I think it's gonna be fun. Also in the news is the Pokemon Global Mission Harvest Poke Beans is a success. So this is a was an easy one. We all knew we were gonna accomplish this global mission without even trying, without even going too ham on it and we accomplished it. It says the Harvest Poke Beans Global Mission has concluded and the goal was reached. You and your Pokemon fans all over the world joined together and gathered over 30 million Poke Beans at the Poke Poga Lego. I think that's how you say it. And Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon. Everyone who contributed will receive a reward of 2,000 festival coins. Trainers who have registered their games at the Pokemon Global Link will earn 4,000 festival coins. Check in at the Global Mission recipient. Um, that's basically the lady at the front desk to the right side of when you walk in. She's the one with the blue flower dress. Once you walk into your Pokemon um, castle inside of your Pokemon Festival Plaza, you talk to her, she's gonna give you your prize, your participation prize, which is to me, one, a great way to stack up on Festival Coins, a great way to level up your Festival Plaza level. And I mean, you probably already signed up for the Pokemon Global Link because again, you signed up to get that Master Ball. So if you got that extra Master Ball, you are already signed up. So just talk to the lady. She'll probably give you the coins, even if you didn't participate in this particular global mission. Also, leveling up your Festival Plaza, I don't know if you guys know, but you get tons of items for doing so. And especially if you put 
the lotto mini games as your as your little games and tents outside you're able again to rack up on even more items so you can get stuff like golden bottle caps and big nuggets so this is a great way to stock up on ways to get money on ways to get you know golden bottle caps so you can hyper train tons of pokemon i did a video on this on the original pokemon sun and moon games i have a link in the description so you guys can check it out as well as a card popping up on top so you guys can see it as well also for our final news story on pokemon ultra sun and ultra moon news if you participated in the 2008 international challenge of january your participation prize is waiting for you i'm gonna have the link to the article in the description below as well as the link so you can receive your participation prize once you log into the pokemon global link it says if you made the rankings in 2018 international challenge of january online competition you can claim your participation prize of 50 battle points now through march 31st 2018 now in order to make the rankings quote unquote all you needed to do is one match either of any of the three days you literally had to do one match now i personally did 15 matches each day because i'm a crazy person and i like the challenge and even though i got my ass kicked because i had a terrible fucking team it was kind of fun to see you guys out there and see what other teams people were building and taking out there for this international challenge it was pretty fun i like online competitions on the pokemon games and i think it's pretty fun let me know in the comment section below did you bring what did you rank you know what was your team that you brought for this online competition i kind of whipped up a team last minute and it's the team that i've been riding through the whole pokemon game and that kind of didn't work because i got my ass kicked but let me know what you brought in for the pokemon online competition of january and how well did you do it says log in to the pgl using the game that you participated in in 2018 international challenge of january then click here click here literally there's a link so you can click here i'm gonna have that same link in the description below it says to redeem the code in the game select mystery gift from the main menu and select receive gift then select get gift with the code slash password and follow the prompts to enter your special code be sure to be sure to enter the code in your copy of pokemon ultra sun and or pokemon ultra moon before march 30th 2018 so you have about a month in order to get your 50 battle points so get on it if you did participate you don't miss out on your participation prize now again people might be asking hey what about the people who didn't participate where is our 50 battle points well if you didn't participate you don't get the prize simple as that now i'm gonna be doing videos on when you guys could sign up like always and when you guys could redeem your prizes and stuff like that so if you are interested in the pokemon online competition hit that subscribe button also hit the like button because it does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time i drop a pokemon ultra sun and pokemon ultra moon news update video because i do do a lot of them on this channel right here Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon video. Next time, I'm going to try to do them as the news drops. I know I'm a couple of days late with a couple of these news stories, especially with the Ultra Sinnoh Classic. Today is the last day of registration. It's the day I'm actually registering. So, you know I'm kind of late on it. I've been kind of, you know, doing a lot lately with the move. I'm moving into a new studio. I can't wait to show you guys. I might vlog it all. Comment down in the comment section below if you would like to see a vlog of the move of me moving my studio space into another studio space still out here in switzerland i'm gonna be out here for a couple of months i have a trip to new york which i'm also gonna vlog i'm definitely vlogging that that's the reason why i've been so busy i've been trying to just like get everything together and pack and then try to because it's a couple of more days i'm gonna be here in this studio so i'm not trying to pack everything but i'm trying to pack enough that i could just like still bang out videos and still give you guys content at the same time roll out into the new studio again let me know your thoughts in the comment section below peace i'm gonna see you guys on the next pokemon ultra sun and ultra moon news update video